patent on the arm to cause some exotic effect. It, it, it's it's kind of ridiculous. Mm. But there are a lot of points and a lot of ways of setting the body up to actually cause other areas to become more vulnerable. And it's more in the mechanics of them. But the reason I got into it was because I was figuring, well, if I'm learning to use all these points yeah, yeah, yeah. to attack them, I should probably learn to use them for good as well. Yeah. And the other side of the Tai Chi, as I said, is a healing art. So it just made sense. I'd always massage. That's how I earned my pocket money mm. growing up. So... I went in to enrol in uh, Chinese massage and walked out enrolled in acupuncture and never looked back. So, who, yeah. So, so um, is your qualification acknowledged in China as well? No, probably not acknowledged in China. Um, would it be? Yeah, but what? Yeah, not a, as highly in China. You actually have oh, to be a medical oh, doctor be, first. Yeah. yeah. Before you study acupuncture. Oh, wow. And China yeah. China's such a broad region. Like, uh, Yeah, but like if you've got a qualification. What is? Yeah. No, I'm just thinking, you know, like if if you have a qualification, I mean, you know, I, I, you might not, never go to China, but you, it would be nice to, to know that. Yeah, but you could be, be a full nurse in uh, Japan and yeah. come over here and you're not a nurse at all. But that's what I'm saying. Like, But nursing is different. Like, you know, Japanese have always had their nursing and Australians have always had their nursing. And, you know, our, the way that we... All of our medicine is like totally different, but acupuncture is something that actually came from China, right? Right. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Am yeah, I making sense? I, I guess it so, would have to be in the natural therapies section. I'm going to throw a spanner in the works and just say I practice Japanese acupuncture anyway. <laughs> do you really? What's yeah. Japanese acupuncture? Is that different um, to Chinese? It is the practice. Basically, it's colder. It's yeah. bloody, you know. <laughs> no, it's it's actually quite the opposite. In fact, are you um, trying to? <laughs> <laughs> so it's hotter. <laughs> uh, no, uh, well, basically, the Japanese culturally closed their gates for a long time. Yeah, and so they they'd taken all the books, they'd taken all the knowledge up until that point, then they closed their gates. Yeah. And they kind of refined it, so a lot like the Japanese do. You know, they take I know they, they take do. a they take a, a stereo and turn it into an MP3 player. Yeah, yeah. they kind of did much the same with and acupuncture. With acupuncture, and so the theory is actually a little bit more, I believe, genuine. In China, lots of acupuncturists were put up against walls and shot by <gasps> dictators. By dictators. Why? Why? Because the cultural, uh, the, the sorry, the communist. Um, party came in and wanted to make changes but what's wrong with acupuncture that they have to be killed um i think at the time it's a pretty big historical question but i think at the time basically dictator mao yeah he 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 wanted to westernize um china fast and i think in a way to basically stop america rolling over china's borders with tanks and machine guns so Mm. they had to get rid of and be seen to be competing at the same level that the West was. And so this folklore medicine, it ain't going to float in the West. Yeah. Let's get rid of it. And they pretty much did until he couldn't treat the health um, needs of his country and had to sort of bring it back in. Wow. Um, and, and, you know, historically... Is this common knowledge? You see, this would be no, like a... Really. There's so many people there in so many regions of China that, yeah. that surely they just want to control... Yeah, I mean, what's it's what's a massive, what's massive right and what's country, wrong, or yeah. what's normal and what's yeah, not you, normal. You've got to realise in China, government. you know, down the road, the acupuncturist in this precinct may have been using a, the same point, the same you know stomach meridian point. Yeah, but in a completely different location for the same thing or for a different thing. So there was no standardisation. And, and making a, money a, off the books, you know, this and that. Yeah. Could <laughs> they do, yeah, they do that a bit too. But like, so 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 <laughs> Mao couldn't Mao couldn't control that and there was yeah. no consistency and he knew the west was going to say seven different locations of the same point all being used for mm. similar or different that's ridiculous that's unscientific yeah. it doesn't work mm. and so i think to westernize china so they weren't overtaken that's what he did and so to do that he destroyed burnt libraries killed acupuncturists did what he had to do yeah and so because of that a lot of that information in china was standardized and probably a lot was lost you know, I kind of imagine that he probably just got a group of acupuncturists and put him in a room with a guy with a machine gun and said, come up with one system yeah, or you don't leave the room. And so, you know, all these different acupuncturists that had all these different rich cultural variety yeah. of, went, 
oh, okay, let's all agree on this. Let's all agree on this. Let's So they could teach it to the masses quickly wow. and rapidly. So in Japan, that interruption to the historical passing from master to mm. um, student was almost completely broken but survived in a few small pockets um, after the Second World War. And so their theory I find much more circular, much more consistent, um, much more holistic, I guess would be a good sense. The Chinese system is a little bit things magically popping up for no reason, whereas if you go into the classical, like the ancient ancient Chinese theory or the, or the, the Japanese theory, it explains why these things occur. So it yeah. kind of has that more holistic feel to it. And I tend to practice it also because it's a little bit more gentle for people. So the needles aren't put in so deep. The needling is not so strong, mm. um, which for a Western, you know, for us Caucasians and Australian kind of people, it's much more accepted. You know, the Chinese like their needles in deep. They like to feel it. Oh, but there okay. aren't, yeah, because they feel it doing something. Yeah. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with that either, but it wouldn't float for a lot of clients here. They just scream in pain and not get so it. Do you do both? Uh, I use what technique I need to at the time. Okay. I, I generally think that as an acupuncturist, we're really trying to work out what level of stimulation is required to bring about a change in this person. And, and that's really what we're trying to do mm. is just create just create a stimulus that makes the body change. Did you get a, like a burning feeling in your neck as he's telling you that? Mm. I did. Like I just felt like – because I haven't had acupuncture ever, but yeah. I was thinking, oh, man, if I could only – I'd I like feel to get like a if, deep one. Like in the bur- yeah. like, you know, you've always got some sort of burning sort of muscle feeling just like, yeah, get – yeah. I might come yeah, I actually had that, that I mean, funny, pl- no, like, nocebo effect. Like, you're telling me this, I'm like, oh, Nocebo. yeah, all of a sudden I'm sore. <laughs> Do you know your neck feels amazing now, by the way? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, damn, it didn't work. No, but I want to get – can you do a deep – because I want to, like, the acupuncture that I've had, I think – I do think it worked, but I didn't actually feel anything. So I don't oh, know if it was – At the time, like, the, yeah, going in. Right? It, you don't feel anything. And I don't know if it was the acupuncture that worked – or whether it was because he used to, you know, like pull my, my head, you know, like give it a bit mm-hmm. of a stretch and right. give me massages. So it could have been a combination of all of those that worked, not necessarily. Yep, yep definitely. Yeah. Oh. Can you do the so deep So you ones? couldn't feel any of the... Uh, you don't feel it going is in that, at is all. Is that a normal feeling? You feel like a tap, tap. D- d- depends on the wow. person. I've got some people who I can try as gently as possible and they just think it hurts. And I've got people who I can bang nails into who don't blink an eye. It just really depends. I found that when people are more tired and fatigued, yeah. they're more sensitive. How um, do you know where to put the needle, though? Had, like, good had, question. Yeah. Um, Gunja, because if I say I've got a sore neck, my, a sore neck can come from any part of the neck. Yep. So how do you know which point? Or would you actually look at scans or... or? I'll... It's another reason I like scans. Like I often, even though oh, everything I said before, I love scans. I often say to people, "God, if you gave the ancient Taoists an Apple computer and an MRI, mm. we'd 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 see some amazing medicine being done." Um, scans help, yeah, but basically palpation and so so my, my touch yeah. feeling. Um, you telling me where it hurts, um, you know, deducting where it hurts through t- yeah. trying points on the arm and seeing what nerves and what other sensations. Take mm. off like I was treating a guy today, and his ankles in he, he's he's got quite a pain. Oh, sort of like a bit of a neuralgic sort of pain going through the bottom of his foot. And so, just searching up through his leg, I was finding points that were shooting pain down to his foot and up to his bum. So I was needling along that pathway, just oh, because okay. of what his body said. So I try not to think too hard about it. <laughs> Is this, is this really going down? Yeah. But um, the body is, is, is literally telling you. Like you said, it's, yeah. it's tell, giving you a message. So if I can bring the body's natural awareness, if I can bring the body's intuition to, to see what's going on, make it present at that time, then yeah. the body has the ability to go, oh, that's right, I left that pathway switched on, didn't I? I need to flick that off oh. and switch it off. So it's just kind of like bringing the body back into its, its self-awareness. Can, well, you go. I, have I ever told you this this story? I worked in a uh, shed business, right? 
So two blokes yeah. selling blokey stuff. And the other guy, his name was Dwayne. He told me this great story that I'll never forget. And, and it, I, I 100% believe it. Mm. That he, for two years, he was, um, uh, what did he have? Um, he was constantly, uh, like, he just felt really bad. He had like a, a, a sore chest. He had all sorts of pain in his chest and this constant uneasy feeling. I think he even said vomiting. Mm. Um, mm. It's been a while since I've actually thought about this, but he went from doctor to doctor to doctor. They did all the scans, all the tests, all this and that, until he went on a uh, business trip like some sort of sales thing into another town and he told the doctor he went there for another reason like maybe i've got the flu mm. but while i'm here mate oh yeah i'm always got this thing and the, and the more he spoke to the doctor about it the doctor said something he said mate i'm going to tell you something kind of strange to do but if you trust me it, it might be the way he goes what he said well i need you to take your pants off get on your hands and knees on the table here i need to check your asshole for real yeah. Because every time he would cough, he'd get this this, this pain yeah, yeah, yeah. in his mm, chest. Mm. Turns out he had an ingrown hair in his ass, right? And the doctor... An ingrown hair ingrown in his hair. ass. Right. Now, think about this the wow. next... Think about this. Go, but there's no hair growing in... S- Around it. You know nothing about blokes. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, it's also like... So A- the, ar- the, the ass- ring. So there's the ring that's yeah, got look. hair... I'll show you in this book. Of oh, there's an anatomy, anatomy book right here. Right. But it's not inside. That's the penis. It's not inside the rectum. You're not saying that. No, no, around the outside, right? Yeah. Okay. So, but he had an ingrown hair, right? Yeah. And it was really long. It was like two years Holy long. Holy shit, yeah. Anyway, the doctor pulled it out. He actually felt like, oh, he felt the feeling in his chest. Wow. Which, and no by way. the way, yeah. by the way, I if I have a good hard wipe... I've had that feeling in my chest. Really? I, I kind of believe it. Uh, Is that true? Is your asshole connected to your <laughs> sternum? Is that the sternum? It's I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we might need to talk about that next time. <laughs> no, but I legitimately do. Like once every month, have a good hard wipe and go, Whoa, I feel some sort of like tickly funny feeling right in the centre of my chest. And so so this, this made him, his chest better? More to the point, the doctor knew to check there. So he knew some sort of setup yeah. between that part of the chest. It was like it's, when I, I'm, I'm being dead set honest. When I get that feeling, it's like a heart feeling, a real deep in the chest heart feeling that that relates to your asshole. Wow. Yeah. I've, Next that, person is coming complaining yeah. of chest pain on my dude. Send him <laughs> over. No, but I've had like. Um, oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. But, no, I've had, you know when sometimes you, you get, like, so much gas, but you can't fart? Nope. Like, for some reason it doesn't oh, go yeah, down yeah, yeah. and I, it's all up here. Yeah, I get that, yeah. I've had, like, really kind of a stitch kind of pain in this area because, like, I don't know, the gas won't go down. There's, like, an air bubble in yeah, your stomach yeah, yeah, cavity yeah. or something. Yeah, I but get that's, that. But that's gas up here. That's not, like, my ring. No. No. No, so it's probably air and gas related, and <laughs> just a pocket in your intestines yeah. and moving its way through. Different thing. What do you do when when that happens, though? How do you get the you gas see to go Nicholas. down? Yeah, because it's really painful. You know, like I would like nothing more yeah, than to people, be able to fart pe- when you when I'm. People feeling don't like touch that. themselves enough. Like seriously, just massage your abdomen. Oh, really? Literally, move the shit through the tubes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny how many people I get in and they'll say, oh, you know, I've got pain here or whatever. So you start yeah. searching around. They're like, oh, I didn't know that was sore. I didn't know that was sore. And you're like, did you ever just touch yourself and like massage yourself and hmm. and, and and work out what's going on? But yeah, a lot, a lot of people don't, you know, they just, it hurts. I'm just going to leave it. Yeah. Very true, man. Yeah. I often wonder, you know, what it would have been like when we were sitting around in teepees and in caves when the sun went down. We would have had such a intimate relationship with our own bodies and, and with our families and with our, you know, through yeah. just physically mm. touching and being aware yeah, of ourselves. There was no medicine. There's yeah. And now, yeah. you know, everything is a distraction. We don't spend any time with our body. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. probably the next big thing for people it's actually self-awareness it's being involved with what's going on in your own body and, and mm. becoming aware of it how about this like something as simple as this it relates 
Have you ever like had a quick drink of